he has a giant tumor embedded in his jaw that is slowly killing him. It's too happy. I can do that again, go. Uh, I can do that again, go. The tumor has grown so large that Harris can no longer close his mouth. I'm just, I'm sitting here, I'm going to stop me. Harris's troubles began in 1991 as a simple earache. And this time, I'm going to I will give you a few things in my ear. Harris lives in Liberia, Africa, one of the world's poorest countries. Here, without access to medical care, his unattended tumor just grew and grew. Finally, he was discovered by humanitarian aid workers in December of 2005. How many years has this been growing? Yeah. Yeah, still. How yeah, long? Many years? It's still. More than 10. More than 10 years. Okay. Okay. I, I can't promise, but I will bring you on the ship and the doctors will look at you for free. And uh, I hope we are able to help you. He's straight up here. Harris, right, go straight. Straight, yeah. The aid workers came from the nearby Mercy Hospital ship, Anastasis. Here, a team of volunteer physicians were waiting to examine him. The floating hospital is supported by donations and performs treatment at no cost to the patients. And day by day, people like Harris come and they have a situation they can't get out of, they can't get care, and we can team up together here and do something to allow them to have a future and a hope. We're going to do a...